El fútbol americano es un juego global. Es visto y jugado por millones en todo el mundo. El fútbol americano en México siempre ha sido un deporte de mucha tradición. Las familias mexicanas han aprendido a disfrutar del deporte y muchas de ellas lo adoptan como un estilo de vida. En abril, los Pittsburgh Steelers realizaron una clínica de pateadores en la Ciudad de México. El objetivo del evento, crear una plataforma para que aprendan pateadores profesionales mexicanos calificados, sobre todo para ser vistos. 11 jugadores profesionales de la LFA se han dado cita. El contingente de Pittsburgh estuvo conformado por Dan Rooney, director de Estrategia y Desarrollo de Negocios de los Steelers, Mark Korshak, cazatalentos del equipo por 29 años, Sean Swisham, ex pateador de Steelers, y Raúl Alegre, pateador y dos veces campeón del Super Bowl y leyenda mexicana de la NFL. Los pateadores mexicanos han dejado una huella significativa en la historia de la NFL. Raúl conoce la importancia de los pateadores mexicanos, quienes han dejado una huella definitiva en la historia de la liga. Raúl ha decidido sensibilizar a estos personajes acerca del amor y la importancia del fútbol americano, pero por sobre todas las cosas de los pateadores en México y su historia en la NFL. One, you, you get to engage uh, Mexico, Mexico City, uh, fans of the Steelers in another country. Um, it, it's special and it, it touches home to me especially um, coming from another country. Um, we have a kicking clinic trying to help uh, guys to become the best that they can uh, and, and chase their dreams through football. Este tipo de clínicas son valiosas porque amplían la perspectiva de los atletas y despiertan su espíritu competitivo. Espero ver eh, mucho talento, muchos muchachos que están eh, deseosos de, de competir, están deseosos de demostrar lo que pueden hacer, que lo único que les falta es tener una oportunidad. 11 pateadores de la LFA se han dado cita al campo de los Bears de la American School Foundation In this moment, please remind yourself to enjoy it, to embrace this. Breathe, slow yourself down when you get out there. Go have fun. Don't live in your fears about missing, okay? Our mindset is the difference oftentimes between kickers making it and kickers that don't, right? Stop thinking about what if I miss. It's like, what if I make it? Does it make sense? Have that type of day today. Have fun. Please embrace us. We're here because we're excited about Mexico. We're excited about your league. We're excited about you as individuals. We're excited about you guys chasing your dreams through football. So please, don't be bashful. Please ask us questions. We're here to help you and to have a great day through football. The main point, have fun and learn. Go get them, guys. Good stuff, guys. Okay. Síganme los buenos. <laughs> Luego del calentamiento, los pateadores se enfocan en calibrar sus piernas y mostrar su técnica desde diferentes distancias, así como su colocación, precisión y detalles que definen los rasgos de cada pateador. Pues primero que nada quieres ver, evaluar a la persona, cómo reacciona, o sea, cómo se prepara, cuál es su rutina. Una de las cosas que yo siempre hice como pateador es tener una rutina para que un punto extra y un gol de campo de 45 yardas para ganar el partido parecieran la misma patada, ¿no? Entonces, quiero ver si, si todos ellos tienen una rutina, quiero ver cómo reaccionan si, si fallan un gol de campo. The kicking position, one of the hardest things for me adjusting to, to life beyond football was not being in those moments where it is do or do not, make or miss, do or die. It was very black and white, and it was just a fantastic way to test yourself, to challenge yourself, to, to work for those moments so you're best prepared for them. La primera parte fue muy tensa, emotiva, y los pateadores también tenían ganas de aprender, de jugar con calidad y mostrar su talento. 
Tras observar la primera tanda de ejercicios, Raúl, Sean y Mark definen las aptitudes sobresalientes del grupo, puliendo así algunos detalles más avanzados. En la carrera de estos jóvenes siempre hayas momentos claves y situaciones que te ayudan a mejorar para convertirte en un mejor jugador. I think he has, uh, average ability with our water pump. And the thing is, you know, his pre-kick routine is kind of like overly stated and sometimes I think it messes up with, I, I don't have him in, so. No, I agree with that. You know, it's just, it's just he needs to work on leg strength, yeah. Correct. Most definitely, yeah. Yeah, no, he's got talent. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't miss any one of my hands. His mindset is good. He's built strong. He pops the ball. I mean, he's... He's very focused. He, he's got height, he's a trajectory. I mean, he's got pop, he's got good rotation. I, I mean, I gave him more passes and he made all the kicks in front of me. Gentlemen, when, when we, um, we have to sit and do this, I, I promise you I've been in your shoes, I've been in your situation. Uh, we didn't take this day lightly, we didn't take your opportunity lightly. This is part of your journey. If today is not the day, it doesn't mean this thing's over, okay? Uh, but what I'm gonna do, Call your number if you'll just come up and stand beside me, okay? Number two, number 10, 11, three, and four. Okay? Gentlemen, congratulations. You have earned the opportunity to go to our second phase of this workout. Okay, and we're going to start in about five minutes with some kickoffs. Okay, gentlemen, thank you so very much. Fantastic job. Continue to work, continue to grind. I'm going to be here, I'm here all day. If you got any questions for me, I'd love to help you. Okay, uh, gentlemen, congratulations. Now it's time for you to gear up, get yourself loose. We're going to kick some uh, football. <laughs> Vengan conmigo tantito, los, como, como dijo Sean, yo me acuerdo una vez que, que tenía un tryout, ya los gigantes me habían despedido, así como pasó ahorita, a todos nos pasa, tienes que aprender a aceptar las cosas, eh, pues siempre te sientes eh, un poco desilusionado, pero tratas de, de ver qué pude haber hecho diferente. Como les digo, lo único que pueden controlar ustedes es su actitud, siempre positivos. Cuando tengan una situación que no salen las cosas como ustedes esperaban, piensen qué pude haber hecho diferente, cómo pude haber preparado mejor y perseverar, perseverar. Cada práctica que tengan, hagan la que cuente. Los felicito por haber venido y es un honor haberlos conocido. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Ok, gentlemen, we'll go to the next phase now. We'll have a little bit of fun, ok? As you make it, You stay in. You miss, you cheer your buddies on from the side. Remember, that doesn't define your day, but we'll try to amp up the pressure just a little bit more, okay? We'll start from a 56. We'll continue to move back until there's one guy left standing. And, and to be clear, this is just a portion of your workout. This is a portion of your day. But we'll just see how you embrace the pressure of this, okay? So good luck to you. Um, who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Okay, let's go. Well done, well done. Good effort. Good kick, good kick. Ah, good job. Good effort, good effort. Good job. Well done, well done, well done. We saw some strong legs, we saw, we saw guys with, with good technique. We saw some guys step up when the pressure was on, so that, that's a sign of a guy that's not not afraid to, to make a big kick, which is uh, you know what you want to see in that position. 
Okay, so fantastic job. Um, I'll, I'll leave it to you, but then what we'll do is, remember that was just a portion of what we're gonna do. We're gonna evaluate the entire day of work and we'll give you an answer here pretty soon um, and just kind of give you guys some feedback here coming up. So just give us a few minutes, but fantastic job. I'm so proud of yourself. This, the manner in which we structured the day was intentional. It was intentional where there's downtime, where, where I just am observing and watching them interact with one another. The kicking position, one of the hardest things for me adjusting to, to life beyond football was not being in those moments where it is do or, or do not, make or miss, do or die. It was very black and white and it was just a fantastic way to test yourself, to challenge yourself, to, to work for those moments so you're best prepared for them. Different levels of different degrees. And the biggest thing you're looking for, for who has the leg strength? Who can drive the ball? They all need technique work. But if you have the leg strength to be able to go ahead and drive the football, then you have a shot. The boys went through about two and a half hours of kicking. Yeah. Different situations, different direction with the wind, without the wind, hash marks, middle. We created some pressure, finished with some sudden death. Had some kickoffs of the middle, right. which is not always easy distance. to go. Correct. And, and for me, um, I thought there was a, a, a player that reached out and grabbed a hold of it today mm -hmm. with his kickoffs, yes. with his leg strength, with his pop, with his consistency, with his demeanor um, in, in all aspects. And he's not the only guy that I, that I think can, that should chase a dream here. I really don't. There were some other interesting uh, kickers out here, but I think there's a guy that stole the show today. From the very beginning, you could tell that he was focused, uh, the demeanor that you mentioned, uh, going first, uh, and in kickoffs, I, I, I had him rated right number one as well. So, so He was one most consistent kicking yeah. off. How do I dial? Zero, one, one? Yeah. Hello? Hola, Alfredo. Yo me llamo Omar Kang. Yo soy el uh, gerente de los Pittsburgh Steelers. ¿Cómo está? Bien, bien. ¿Y tú qué tal? El, creo que hace una o dos semanas, una o dos semanas estuvieron miembros de nuestro equipo eh, presente allí en un kicking camp. Creo que estuvo presente, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 sí estaba. Oh. Sí, me, me dijeron que eh, partió muy bien y quería ten, tomar esta oportunidad para invitarlo a una prueba la otra semana en Pittsburgh, si le interesa. Por supuesto que me interesa. <risa> Perfecto, pues un placer y uh, eh, ahí, ahí nos vemos el, el otro jueves aquí en Pittsburgh. Sí, justo que lo estoy, ¿no? La verdad es que estoy emocionado, eh, pues agradecido con la oportunidad y claro, este, tengo por seguro que voy a estar por allá. Nos vemos el, el otro jueves aquí en Pittsburgh. Súper, perfecto. Eh, Ténganlo por seguro y ahí nos vemos. Perfecto, mucho gusto. Gracias, Alfredo. Igualmente. Nos vemos. Go Steelers. Bye. Gracias. Yo también. Viste que amor, porque se te pasa. Pues sí, sí, sí.